Good evening, Jen. Yes, Jesse Davidson, passionate about serving others, and he's actually a teacher here in Tampa, the elementary and middle school where he grew up, but he also answered the call of duty on a moment's notice once the conflict erupted overseas. And tonight, Jesse's mother says his strength has been a source of her inspiration over the last three very difficult weeks. Military has been very important in our family. A hallway decorated with a lifetime of family memories. And for Lee Merrill Davidson Byrne, this photo of her son Jesse is one of her favorites. He's an Israel Defense Forces reservist and now fighting on the front lines of the Israel Hamas war. He is exactly where he belongs now with the people he belongs with, doing what he can to make it better in the land that means so much to his soul. Jesse Davidson answered the call of duty on a moment's notice, flying from Tampa to Israel within 24 hours after the conflict began. His ties to the Bay Area run deep, growing up in Tampa and graduating from the University of South Florida. And then he, when he graduated, he was going to go to the IDF to become a sniper. And that's what he did. But now, Lee Merrill Davidson Byrne coping with the grim reality that her son is in the midst of a war zone. Our lives have been on pause. I'm living in two time zones. We don't sleep through the night anymore. We just grab our naps in between. Every text message Jesse sends and video he posts is a reminder he's okay. Don't stop now. From here, we should only go up. And we should merit an end to this conflict soon. He's got a lot of strength. He's got a lot of conviction. That's an impressive photo. He's an impressive man in everything he does. Lee says her son's words have been her source of strength. He who leaves the fight unfinished is not at peace. His passion to protect others gives her peace. There are things worth dying for. This is a war against humanity. And at this point, Jesse's mother says that they've been able to talk on the phone about once a week and touch base through text message at least once a day. But as the war continues, she's already prepared herself for the painful fact that their messages may not be as frequent. In the studio, Lenny Sue Paul, 8 on your side.